Here's how to convert your Figma files into After Effects files for animation. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Sam and I make motion graphics and graphic design related content right here on YouTube. And if there's something that interests you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. And if you want to contact me, joining my motion design community is the best way. The link is in the video description. I've been trying to move into Figma animated for websites recently. I want to show you guys simple ways that you can actually bring in your Figma files into After Effects for animation. So without talking too much, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, the app that we use is called Figma. You don't need to crack or anything, it's totally free. You can just search it on Chrome here, click on downloads, and you can just follow the prompts and download it. So I'm going to be talking about the free version and the paid version for moving your files from Figma to After Effects. So first thing you're going to do is we're going to come to templates and tool down here and you're going to search the community for a few plugins. So the first plugin you want to search community for is Overlord. Now if you come down to plugins here, you can actually see the Overlord app right here. Don't let this thing fool you. If you try and use it, it will tell you to pay for it. So. Overlord is actually a paid plugin. So, so the next one that is there, we are going to search is Convertify. Now, this is Convertify here. Convertify also is paid. It's a paid plugin, but it gives you 10 free trials. So you can use it 10 times for anything. So the final one I'm going to talk about, and this is the one I personally use, is a free plugin. And for that, you're going to need a few things. First thing you're going to need now is you need ZXP installer. So you can just download ZXP installer like this straight to your Windows. And if you're not using a less than genuine source of um, After Effects or any Adobe software, is not actually going to work for you. But I would should give you a workaround later. So when you have it installed, you can just run the installation on your system and it's supposed to look like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to download the plugin that we are going to use itself and it's called AEUX. Now, you can see it on GitHub here, so you can just click on it and you can just download it straight from GitHub. So now in our file manager here, let's just extract this and let's extract this here. Let's open it up. And if you enter now, you will see After Effects, Figma and Sketch. So we're just going to use this Figma and Sketch. For After Effects here, if you are using a very like correct version of um, this thing, of Adobe After Effects, you can just drag this from here and drop it here and it's going to um, install for you directly but if you are not it's going to give you an error error 193 something like that and i'm not going to tell you what to do with your computer it's your life do whatever you want now i'm going to show you guys a walk around it if you're using a less than genuine version of after effects you can just left click here and we are going to rename this file so let's come down here and instead of ZXP, we are going to change it to ZIP. I'm going to get this pop up, click on OK, and your file is going to change. I'm going to left click here, go to Extract, and extract everything out like this. So we have it open, opened up like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this here, and I'm going to my look at the C going to pro program files x x6 i'm going to common files going to adobe going into cep going into extensions and i'm just going to paste it here so now let's open up after effects if you have done that once you open up after effects so any of the two file any of the two methods if any of the two methods worked for you if you open up after effects now you're supposed to see it so now what you just need to do is come to window here, go down to extensions and you see AEUX down here. So you can click on that and it's going to load. So now let's just add our extension in Figma also. So let's come into Figma here. Let's go to any design. This is just a free design that I got. 
So now if I want to add it into if I want to add it into Figma here, all I just need to do is left click here and I'm just going to plugins, going to development. And for you guys, you will not see your own AUX here. I've added it two times because I've recorded this part. And I can just do import plugin for manifest. So what you are just going to do is you're just going to find where you extracted your file here. We're going to open it up and we're going to look for Figma here. And you're just going to click on this manifest um, file here and click on open. So when you do that, okay, let me open my own. When you do that, now you're supposed to have something like this. So what that means is that if I can just select my frame here, let's select everything from here, and I press send to After Effects here. If I go down to my After Effects, so now in our After Effects here, we're going to have, um, you have to select the folder where our file is going to be saved. So I'm going to select this folder and after a while, everything will be imported into your composition. So let's move this out of the way for now. And if let's zoom out, if we zoom out now, you can see that all our files have been imported successfully. And the cool thing about it is that it imports based on the groups that they are in. And so I can individually move them with my After Effects control. Like for example, let's say I want to move this um, title by here, design navigation here. I can just come down here, position key property, and I can just move it as much as I want. Thank you for watching our video. What do you think? Let me know in my comment section. If you want me to do more Figma related tutorials or do more web animation related tutorials, let me know in the comment section and I'll be glad to hear from it and I'll be glad, glad to get to you. And now that I've learned how to do this, why don't you take a crack at learning how to make this animation right here? Or you can watch this video right here and I'll catch you in that video. So from now to the next time, remember, improve every day. Grow constantly. Sorry. 3 Live endlessly, eh? No, dream endlessly. Love you guys.